Right, so let's see what's here. Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome back to another video. We've got James here. We've got Ant from the YouTube channel, Trekking Exploration. That's the one. Yeah, that's right. It sounds like you're going up now, every stun it. And we've got that little, <laughs> we've got that little swine you all love. Timmy, where is he? There. There he is. Um, we're here in Lath Kildale in the Peak District. Uh, this is the river... Lathkill. Lathkill. There you go. Huh. And apparently there's some old industrial stuff along here we can take a look at. So. We'll get off the noisy river and we'll show you what we're looking at. Are you excited? Yeah. So the reason I've come here, there seems to be a spate at the moment of uh, Instagrammers and TikTokers that are doing short form video about walks you can do. And I must admit, I watched one of them and it looked very good. And it was here in Lathkildale. And uh, they were showing like bits of old mines and thought, you know what, be a nice walk that, let's go and take a look. Okay, so this week we're in the Peak District. Nearest main town is Bakewell. And later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly where we parked and where we walked and give you postcodes because I do recommend this as a walk. So you can see here the River, river Lathkill has been messed about with a lot. They've done a lot of things with it, a lot of series of mini weirs here. I'm not quite sure what was going on here, but this is a mill race or a little tail race where this, this channel rejoins the river. Right, so find number one. We've got a bit of an old mine at it here, so... Got my torch, let's go and take a look inside. So as you can see, it goes very small down there uh, and it looks like it's water filled down there. You can't see on the torch. I'm not going to crawl, but um, I can see water down there. Uh, so whether that's a shaft or not, I'm not quite sure, but it goes water filled and goes down to a crawl. So as you can see, there's our walk on the old maps, the old Ordnance Survey maps. And you'll see the area is littered with old lead mines. Overhaddon is there on the right hand side and you can see our walk by the river Lathkill and that's what we're looking at We're looking at the legacy of these old lead mines now lead mining in this area goes back about to around about the 1200s the 1300s They would have been very shallow surface mines, but uh, it really took off on an industrial scale in the late 1700s Let's see what else we can find some ruins and remains up there apparently and that would have been pumping for a mine, wouldn't it? Oh, it had a leak leading up to it. There was like a wooden trough that dropped the water into a water wheel, went down into the beam engine, 165 horsepower Cornish beam engine, which allowed the water to then do its thing. Pump out the mine? Oh, yeah. And this is what Ant is talking about. This is an engine house for Mandale Mine, one of the oldest mines in the area. And this engine house held a beam pumping engine. Um, a Cornish beam pumping engine that pumped out the mine deep below. Obviously water being the enemy of mining, mines flood very easily so you've either got to pump out the water or you have to drain it with a, a mine sough which is like a tunnel. This pump was driven by a water wheel but how did they get the water up here? Look at that there, beautiful. So obviously the mine owners here, Vincent Cornwall said We'll have a bit of that. And it would have been a beam engine. I'll try and put a clip in for you. So this mining started here in the late 1300s. It is believed to be the oldest lead mine in the entire Derbyshire. Definitely looks 1700s to me. I just love the fact that up there, I'm going to show you a close up up there, we can see steelwork or the marks of steelwork on the walls. It's incredible. Proper For me, that proper brings it to life that because there was something anchored there. It's not just, it goes beyond just stone. Yeah, it's not just uh, a wall, is it? Yeah, it's not just a wall. It's got actual steel and it's got, you, you can, can see, see where things were anchored yeah. into the uh, the structure. And the actual stonework above that, has got that like copper effect to it. Yeah, there's something's been against there, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think that's on, on that side. Yeah. 
So as we go up these steps here, we're going sort of like to the back of the engine house. And this is where the water was brought in to drive the pumping engine. It was brought on a leet um, and through tunnels. Um, it, this is the arrangement here. Now it came on an aqueduct across the valley over the river um, and then down a leet and then it dropped onto the water wheel and fed this um, this pumping house which is incredible. I'm going to show you remains of the aqueduct in a moment but this is the best I can show you. It came down a wooden trough um, from the leet and then dropped onto the wheel. Amazing. Um, I would have loved to have seen all this the way it was. Wow, look at that. And going inside, you've got to imagine this has all been filled in, so it's not at the correct level. Did this feed water to it? Yeah, this is where it comes from, so there's a leak on the other side. So somewhere you've had to get water at a much very high level here, and you? you've had to get water up here. And this is part of that leak that would have fed water onto a trough and then onto the wheel, so water would have flowed through here at one point. And that's the other side where you saw Ant talking, and that's the leak. That would have brought water down here. I think we've found there a capped shaft. Why else would there be a concrete pad in the middle of the woods here? But something interesting behind the camera here now, I'm going to show you this. Another little addit. Look at this. So we've got our torch. Let's go and take a look, see what's going on in here. Danger, old mine workings. Wow, 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 wow. <coughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that chain. Wow. So a bit of a drop there, isn't there? And that goes on. And then down there, you can see what looks like a shaft. Uh, there, can you see? Wow. Uh, so that is incredible. I want to go in, but uh, I imagine it'd be incredibly dangerous. I'm probably water filled now. There you go, somewhere else for you. If you come on this little walk, Another, what looks like another mine at it. Uh, ooh, are we going down? Yeah. Oh, it's got a gate at the end, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll have a look. Let's go down and have a look inside. Have you got my torch? I'll go. Good lad. Let's have a look. It kind of like uh, exploits a fault, doesn't it, within the uh, within the rocks? So this one's flooded. It's Is similar. It? It's similar to the first one we saw, but you could get down it if you had the correct gear on. You can actually, you're actually allowed in it. You're allowed in it? Yeah, if you get permission. Yeah, access right. in there. Right. Look at that. Oh, well, it looks nice, that, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's get the zoom camera on. Right, there you go. So you can see, we'll do a bit of a zoom. Look like a passageway through there. Um, looks. Quite doable that, you need a hard hat, but it looks like it's opened up just in that section there. Uh, let's put my thingy on. Yeah, I think that's the best we've seen today, but uh, good that, isn't it? But as you can see, flooded, and this was the problem they had, and that's why we're seeing all these uh, pumping engines. Let's have a brew. Right, so we went into Bakewell to get a traditional Bakewell pudding. Now you may have heard of Bakewell tarts that you can buy anywhere, but we wanted pudding, there's the puddings. Uh, those are Bakewell tarts, you can get them anywhere, but we wanted the pudding and we're gonna try one out. So we bought the Bakewell, um, Bakewell tarts, like the lady said, you can get anywhere. When you come to Bakewell, you have to get the Bakewell pudding, which is different again, which is more like that. Now I can't eat it in here because we're not... Yeah, just do it. It'll, 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 thanks. It's like a treacle with a custard, isn't yeah. it? Is it like a treacle custard? I don't know. Let's try it. Well, anyway, traditional Bakewell pudding, not tart. Mmm. Mmm, that's quite nice, that. Very nice. Is it marzipan? Yeah. Marzipan. Al almond, isn't it? Almond, not, yeah. Almond, yeah. Not a massive fan of marzipan, but that is quite nice. Mm. And most welcome while we're on this walk. Yeah, right. Could have just made a video out of this, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, from Bakewell and Bakewell Puddings, we're going to go back to the walk now. Ready? Ready? So as you can see here, this road here has been eroded by the water. So has the water flooded it? And, and I think so. Down? So it's flooded it, and it's just started to slowly erode the, the road. So I think this is the remains of an aqueduct. Oh. Indeed it was an aqueduct, water was brought across the valley 
through to the leet up there, over to the engine house we've just been to down there. And you can see these are the, uh, the, the pillars of the aqueduct, what was brought across in a wooden trough over the valley and over the river. And it's uh, wonderful to see these and know what they were. So if you come on the walk, this is what they are. Um, be a nice spot of date on these, wouldn't it? And I can't tell you how beautiful and fresh and clear that water is, it's incredible. Now as you're walking down the path you may see this, this is a mine drainage sough. Um, see the hills behind, the mine workings would have penetrated down into those hills and this tunnel here would have drained the lower workings of those, um, those, uh, those mine shafts and everything. Um, we're going to get a GoPro here on a pole and poke it in and see if we can have a look, but you'll see this from the path. Um, water would have flowed out here from the mine workings and out into the river. It's incredible really when you're looking at all this, you look at the aqueduct, you look at the pumping, uh, the engine house, uh, you look at the, the leaks and all the rest of it and we're very much talking about a time where water was power, so we're talking pre-steam. Now there were steam engines around, yeah, I think you had the uh, Newcomen uh, atmospheric engine but it hadn't been perfected, it was very uh, coal hungry and they weren't really commercially that viable you, you know you had to think about where you were putting them and all the rest of it because you had to get the the coal to it so we're still looking at an era early 1800s late 1700s mid 1700s where water power was king <clears throat> and the infrastructure they put in place to direct that water and to utilize its power is fantastic and it's still with us today obviously in ruins but it's fantastic to see even today wouldn't bring a flask today oh uh, yeah you won't carry it well Anne's come prepared he's got some <laughs> plain victorian bread cake cheesy top rolls from sainsbury's <laughs> yeah. but some kind of victorian pauper would be glad of mm. but it's just nothing to it. it's just all bread where's the ham and cheese it's just cheese on top that's enough i think you're supposed to slice it and no put... no you eat it as it is it's less fat no like... you don't well what have you got Give me some of that. See, oh, you want it now, do you? Mm, bread. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gagging on it. <laughs> okay, so if you want to do this walk, um, what you need to do, there's Bakewell, that's the nearest town. You need to come along this road here, down here to Overhaddon Car Park. The postcode for Overhaddon Car Park is DE451HZ. Let's zoom in there. Um, there you go, Overhaddon Car Park. And what you do is you walk down this little road here to the river and then walk down this side of the river. And on this side of the river here is Bateman's house, which I'm going to show you with the shaft. So you'll know what I mean when we get to it. So there's a little bridge somewhere here and you can get to Bateman's house here. But there you go, that's the walk from Overhaddon Car Park down by the river. Now, if we just go here, uh, there is a walk going this way as well, but I've not done this one, so I've yet to do this walk. There you go, so now you know where we are, you know the postcode, and you can go and check this place out yourself. Right, so this is one of the reasons I came here. This is called Bateman's House, and it's got a hidden feature that has brought me here today, and I think you'll love it as well. Now, there you go. It's got a plaque on there saying Bateman's House. Bateman's House. So what was this all about? Well, I'm going to read to you. So it says this of Bateman's House. This unusual building was originally built in 1830 by the Lathkildale Mining Company to cover a 12 metre deep shaft housing a novel design of water powered pump to drain their lead mines. It later served as a family home for the company's agent James Bateman. Well like I say the best thing about this place is you can go and take a look at this shaft. Let's go down. Sounds interesting. Wow. 
My thing is definitely this. Now there is like a little generator here, a little dynamo thing that you're supposed to turn to power a light so you can look down the shaft, but it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So if you do come here, bring yourself a torch so you can marvel at these sights down below. Would you look at that? The remnants of water power, yeah. James. It's weird how they just let it go to waste. Come in, come it's in. weird how they just let it all go to waste. Like why did, like, they could have still been here today if they would have kept it. Yeah, but that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Water power limited where you could do your industry, really. Because mm, you got to follow the river. You had to be near a water source. And, and we've seen the ingenuity in that what they did was they built leeches and they built aqueducts to bring the water to turn those water wheels. But it was limiting. Yeah. Until James Watt, and some of you will disagree with me, but James Watt perfected the steam engine. Because there'd been the Newcomen atmospheric steam engine, as I said, that was very inefficient, didn't quite work, very coal hungry. That was even more of a limiting factor because, like I say, you had to get all the coal to it. I watched a programme the other day. I watched a video the other day about a guy, a modern uh, marketing guy, who uh, was talking about m marketing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how, back in the day, uh, they sold these steam engines because... A lot of the time, these guys, you know, what would come along, Bolton and what would come along and say, we've got an engineer, you shovel coal into it, make steam, they'll go, yeah, I've heard of them, I've, I've seen them, I've heard of them. Now, the old, the old ones are rubbish, he said, but we'll perfect them now, they're very good. So the marketing guy said, if they started talking about water pressures and atmospheric pressures and valve pressures and, and, and tons of coal and all the rest of it, it would mean nothing, you know, the, the, yeah, yeah. the, the mining guy would walk off because all he's interested in is tonnage, the tonnage that he gets out of his mine. <clears throat> so they invented, right, horsepower. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they could say each each thing you would get. Yeah, each like machine, each steam engine. This is steam engine is twenty five horsepower, and suddenly, ding. He knew what he was on about. They marketed the steam engine, and he went, ah, you can replace twenty five horses. In fact, because they work two shifts or something like that, you can replace fifty horses with that one machine. Yeah. And that's the way they sold it. And obviously it was it was gonna sell itself anyway, but I'm talking about the very, very early days where people may have had a, a bad experience with the uh, original with the yeah, yeah, yeah. exploding um, inefficient steam engines. They came up with the horsepower and suddenly people could go, ah. I understand now. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It was all right. Oh, very nice. Look at that. That is two of them, isn't it? Yeah. You get strange things like this. That's just dropping down there to where it's going. Uh, cap shaft, don't know, whatever. I'm sure I've seen a video where somebody looks down that. It's not full of water. Ants taking us to a waterfall. Yeah. A beautiful waterfall. It reminds me of a waterfall I've seen before. I expect a, <laughs> a cascading shower of water coming down the hillside. Perhaps see the hills up there. Can I just say that if this waterfall is amazing, you would have said you'd found a waterfall <laughs> and I found this waterfall and it's absolutely amazing. The whole astounding. day's down to me. Um, <laughs> little water source here and it's dropping down underground, quite curious. Look at that. So where does, uh, where does that go? James's optical probe. Three in one. James's three in one intruder. <laughs> James, let's intrude. Let's go and intrude. Look at that. <laughs> right. 
going in through. Okay. Trying to bend it all. Still waiting for this waterfall. I know. Yes, yes. <laughs> Each waterfall gets a little bit bigger and it goes, yeah, this is the one. Oh no, it's further up, it's further up. And we've finally got a waterfall. Hooray! Hey. Look at that beauty. Right, there you go, we've finally got our waterfall. <laughs> kind of alright, no, it's very beautiful. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, some old industry or old mining here in Lathcool Dale. We um, finally got to come and do the walk. Are you glad I brought you? Don't I bring you to, <laughs> <laughs> don't I bring you to some yeah, great places? It has been nice. Did you enjoy your bit well pudding? Not what I expected, but yeah. Not what you expected, but yeah. <laughs> not, probably not big enough for you. <laughs> Nothing can fill that. Anyway, thanks, Sam. Thanks for coming. Well, I brought you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can catch the same video shot slightly differently on Ant's channel. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. So this is Bakewell. Nice little bridge up there. Bit of a weir. This is a weir bridge, can you believe? Uh, and then the river goes down there. Very nice.